Hey guys, my name is Amanda. Welcome to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here today. I am going to be sharing another fall video. So if you like what you see, please consider sticking around by hitting that subscribe button and also choosing an option on the bell next to it. Also giving me a big thumbs up really helps me out here on YouTube and I appreciate it. Without further ado, let's jump into the DIYs. For the first DIY today, I'm going to share a beautiful, easy pumpkin wall hanging that you can put together for just a few minutes and just a few dollars. So I took a pumpkin from Dollar Tree and cut it in half. This is just one of those styrofoam pumpkins that you can find in white or orange. I had a white one so I'm going to paint it with pumpkin orange by Apple Barrel. Please just be very careful when cutting this. I just used my miter saw and it worked fine. Then I found this sign at Dollar Tree and I removed the hanger. I want to use the inside because I like the frame. I'm going to give a generous coat of Waverly plaster to cover up that engraving. I'm just going around the edge with a smaller brush so I don't make a mess because I totally would if I used a larger brush and then I'll paint the inside with a larger brush. Once my pumpkin and my sign are both prepared I'm going to use a generous amount of hot glue to position my pumpkin onto the sign. I'm then going to take some truffle chalk paint on a brush and kind of blend it in where those ridges are or spines. I'm not quite sure what to call it on a pumpkin, but you see what I did here. You can blend it in a little bit. You can kind of wipe it off. Um, you can add a little orange over it to mute it, whatever you like. I'm going to be using a couple of picks that I found inexpensively at Walmart, but Dollar Tree has gorgeous picks as well. I am just going to fold the bottom of these picks over um, to make them a little thicker for stabbing into the styrofoam and also because they were a little long. Once that is done, I'm just going to stab them right down into that styrofoam and then you can kind of fluff everything out a little bit, arrange the leaves and things how you want them. Mine was still a little sparse in the front, so I took some leaf pieces off a Dollar Tree pick and just kind of arrange them in the front to fill this out. Just get it as full or as not full as you like it until it suits your fancy. So here's what mine look like. I decided to add a little bow since most of my DIYs in this video are fairly plain for what I normally do. So I just folded this Dollar Tree ribbon over and so I had one loop on either side leaving a long strip for tails. I bunched everything together and then just folded my tails over and cut a triangle upward for a boutique finish. Then I'm going to glue my bow at an angle to the top of my pumpkin, just kind of arranging it around those leaves there and getting it exactly how I want it. The bow is totally optional. You do not have to add it if you don't like it, but I thought it really gave this just a sweet and pretty look and I was happy with how it came out. It really only cost me a few dollars and it was so quick and easy to put together if you don't count the paint dry time. So again, and this DIY is so customizable to your color scheme. You can make this however you like and I hope that you enjoy this. Okay, so this challenge today is hosted by Katie over at Lady Red Crafting. She put this whole challenge together and invited me to help her host. She has done an amazing job on this challenge, so thank you so much for the honor of helping. And our guest host today is Stephanie from Mama Can Make It. You all know I love her. She is super talented. So I'm going to have both of these ladies linked in my description box so you can check out their channels. I'll also have the playlist linked as well so you can get tons of inspiration. Our next idea is another easy one of course as that is the running theme in this video. I'm going to show you how I made this cute faux pumpkin pumpkin latte. So I took another styrofoam pumpkin from the Dollar Tree and these stems don't pop off like the ones on the orange pumpkins do. I'm just showing you that here. I had to remove it with a pair of scissors. Um, just So that's just a random thing to point out. Now I'm going to paint this with the remainder of my Waverly chalk paint. Here's what that looks like. Now I had a styrofoam ball from Dollar Tree that comes to a pack that I glued to the top. However, I decided that was too large so I took it off and cut the bottom off gluing it back on like so. I then took this caulking from the Dollar Tree and I am going to cover the styrofoam ball. Now ideally you would put some spackle 
hole in a Dollar Tree piping bag and you would do it that way. However, my Dollar Tree did not have spackle or piping bags. So this actually worked out pretty well and you can use the tip of this caulking to kind of move your caulking around to get it how you want it. And so this is what it looks like and I'm just covering it all the way to the top. And yes, you guys, I do have a little bit of trouble not laughing when I voice over while using this product as I do have five boys and they tease me when I use this. So anyway, I also had a couple of cinnamon sticks you can find at Dollar Tree. I stabbed one down into the styrofoam ball. I cut one down. It wasn't going in very well, so I used my scissors to make a hole in the styrofoam ball and then insert that stick in there. But that is what this looks like so far. I sprinkled on some ground cinnamon, which you can also find at Dollar Tree. I got a little heavy handed, so I just blew off the excess and it is adorable. Now I kind of wish I had given my pumpkin one more coat of paint, but that is okay. I just set it on this large mug that says I love fall. I believe I got it at Home Goods a couple of years ago. I'm sorry, it does say I love fall a latte, but I think that this is super cute. So you could set it on a mug, you could set it on a candle stand, you could just leave it on its own. So lots of different ideas for that, and I hope that you like it. Okay, guys, let's move into another idea. Okay, so this next idea, again, is so quick and so easy. We are going to be using a $3 pumpkin from the Dollar Tree Plus section, and they do have several different colors, so keep that in mind. You could change the color scheme on this project. I am going to be removing the stem at the top, and then you just have styrofoam. I have these leaves from Dollar Tree, also this eucalyptus. I am going to cut my picks down just using these shears here. And once I get everything cut down, I am literally just going to start stabbing into the top of my pumpkin in a way that I think looks pretty. So I'm using these taller leaf picks um, first, and then I am building around them. I'm building the front and then building in the sides and then just adding anywhere that is a little bit sparse. I did use three of those larger leaf picks and about one and a half of the eucalyptus eucalyptus um, picks, but you could get this a little bit fuller if you wanted to. Again, you could customize the color of the pumpkin, or you could use any florals or color of leaves that you prefer. But guys, this is just so easy. It's like a five minute project and just a couple of dollars. I think it looks very high end and very gorgeous. Of course, you could also pop this onto a candle stand and that would look pretty as well. Here's what that looks like. So there's an idea for you. I did make another similar pumpkin last year. Here's what this one looks like. And if anyone is interested in how I made that, I can link that below. But it is the same basic concept with the same pumpkin and just a different color scheme. Okay, we're on to another project, which is actually very small and easy, but I think it is adorable and packs a big impact. So Dollar Tree sells these little wooden dice, and I'm going to buy two packages of of them because they come in a pack of three and I wanted six but you could add as many or as few of these as you wanted to to get your pumpkin the desired size. I am just gluing them together by twos and then I will glue my groups of two all together until I have one large shape. Once that is done, here's what this should look like if you used six like me. I'm going to paint it with my Waverly pumpkin chalk paint and then I'm going to distress lightly over the sides and the front and back with Waverly antique wax just to kind of get those ridges to pop out. I'm using a Jenga block stained with Waverly antique wax as my stem which I'm going to glue onto the top middle there. Here's what that looks like. Embellish it any way you like. I just made a small shoestring bow with Dollar Tree ribbon. And I think this little pumpkin is so adorable. I'd love to make several more in different shapes and put them all together in a vignette. So easy, so cute, and just a couple of dollars. And again, as I said, you could make any shape or size. So very customizable. Okay, we are on to the next easy DIY. 
This pumpkin trio can be found unfinished at Dollar Tree for $3. And I had just decided to keep it really plain and simple, which is something I don't often do on my channel, but I'm doing a little more of now. I picked three colors I liked, Classic Caramel, Waverly Pumpkin Chalk Paints, and then this red color by Apple Barrel. And I literally just alternated the different colors of stripes on the pumpkin so they looked like so. And I also painted that base the caramel color. Here's what that looks like. I did decide to add the word blessed. This is a leather word that came in a, I believe, two pack from Dollar Tree. And I'm gluing that onto the middle. I used a couple of leaves from this package of maple leaves from Dollar Tree. I just glued one to the top and a couple on the side and I also added a pumpkin there by cutting the back off of just a little Dollar Tree thin pumpkin. Again, if you wanted to leave this super simple, you could eliminate that little design there at the bottom. Or if you wanted to make it more fancy, you could add more bows and you could add more florals, more pumpkins, whatever you like. I just added one small bow to that middle pumpkin. And here's what this looks like. I think it is just a beautiful kind of plain accent piece but it just draws together a vignette or a nice table arrangement okay guys next idea for you and this one was actually inspired by my good friend Stephanie over at Mommy Can Make It made a light up pumpkins out of these jars last year or these glass containers last year. But I decided to just leave the lids on and to the top I'm just going to glue these wood stems that I purchased at Dollar Tree. Now you could fill this with potpourri or even with candies or whatever you like. I'm not quite sure what I want to do with mine yet. Even a tea light candle would be pretty. I'm using this pick from Dollar Tree and I'm trying to kind of cluster together the same colors on each one. For example, I have one with primarily orange and a little bit of green, one with mostly burgundies, and then one with mostly green with a little bit of orange. So each one is just a little bit different. I have three leaves glued on there like so. I'm just being careful to get them placed how I want them. And so this is what this looks like, but you can customize these any way you want. Now this berry garland is is from a Dollar Tree. I'm just going to wind some around my finger and then I'm going to place it around that wood stem and kind of twist it so I have a curly cue on either side and then you have some gorgeous little vines for your pumpkins. Now you can do this even more if you wanted to further embellish by adding a little tag to this or even a little label to the front of the jar so the sky is the limit. I just kept mine fairly plain because I'm not quite sure where I want to go with them or how I want to do that. So let me know what you would do if you make this project. I always love to hear your ideas and feedback. Next, I'm going to share with you a couple of my favorite fall DIYs that I've ever made on this channel, and they fit with today's theme. So I had this standing sign from the Dollar Tree, this triangular shape. I had used it in a previous project, so I just sanded off the paper on the back the best that I could. I am going to use this Dollar Tree yarn doubled over, and I am literally just going to glue it down. Go to the end, glue it down, and zigzag back and forth across this entire triangle until it is completely covered. And that is going to represent my pumpkin pie. You could use a thicker yarn if you like, but I found that doubling over this thin Dollar Tree yarn actually worked out just fine for me. Just be careful of your fingers with the hot glue and use finger protectors if you are able to do that. But here's what this looks like. Now I'm going to repeat the same process on the two sides of this just going all the way to the end gluing it down and zigzagging back and forth I do make sure to cover up where my sides meet like so once that is all done this is what it should look like now I am going to create the crust part with this lighter color of plush yarn from Dollar Tree again doubling it over and repeating the same process on my smaller side to be my crust Rest. I'm sorry that this sign is kind of in rough shape. I like reusing items from different projects, but here's what that looks like. Now I'm going to create some little swirls to mimic my whipped cream by just creating a little knot in this doubled over yarn 
gluing it down and then just kind of wrapping around until I get the desired size of swirl that I want. I'll then just glue it down and cut off any excess and I'm going to repeat the swirling process several times until I have swirls all the way across my piece of pumpkin pie and here is what that should look like. Now Dollar Tree sells these little foam balls in a pack of several. I'm going to take one of them and I am going to kind of cut the bottom down so that it will lay flatly on my piece of pie. I am then going to glue it on there and begin to wrap this little ball with my doubled over Dollar Tree yarn. Oh, it doesn't look like I doubled it over this time, but you could. Anyway, once that is all wrapped up, that mimics your whipped cream, and I think that this is absolutely adorable. Incredibly easy and inexpensive to make. I also did make a cherry one too with some lattice crust last year, so you can make different varieties, but here is what it looks like. Again, it's so quick and easy, and I I just absolutely love this. I love the look of it. Okay, so let's make the other one. This one inspired by Bargain Bethany, who used these little takeout containers last year, and she painted the top of hers, but I'm just going to cover mine with yarn. Now, these containers do come with these little tops, and there is three of each so it is a really good deal if you're going to make several pies I did make several different pies with this last year but same idea same concept just zigzagging your yarn back and forth be careful of your fingers glue down when you reach either side and here's what that should look like I just started a new piece of yarn whenever I needed to then I applied my top back into this pan here and made sure that I folded over the ridges of the aluminum pan to hold my top which represents my pie into place now I'm going to go all the way around the edge to create a crust again using that cream color yarn from Dollar Tree and it is doubled over this time I'm just going to go all the way around the edge gluing it down and then cutting off any excess once I am done I'm going to create my little whipped cream the same way we just did by gluing my side fin ball down and wrapping it in this yarn until it is completely covered and looks like a fluffy little pile of whipped cream. Again, I did make a few different pies with different color yarn, so keep that in mind. There's also tons of other ways to make it with paint or spackle, so I definitely recommend checking out Bargain Bethany. She is absolutely amazing, especially if you like faux food. I did recently just make this pie DIY, which I can link below if anyone is interested. It's also quick and easy and fits in today's theme. So here's another idea that I wanted to share. We're going to begin with these apple and pumpkin gift baskets but you could also do a snowman head or an ornament for Christmas. So we're going to begin by taking two for each project of these plastic bowls from the Dollar Tree. They're kind of the tall ones like this, and I'm just flipping them over to show you here. Um, they're just plastic and they're found in the party section. I have my two colors of crayon paint for my apple and my pumpkin, and I am going to spray paint for two for each project. Then I have these wood stems from the Dollar Tree and to the bottom of each one of these I am going to glue a wood stem to be the stem for my apple and my pumpkin. I'm just using hot glue but you can use whatever type of glue that you like. I'm going to add some colorful leaves to my pumpkin project and then some boxwood greenery to my apple project. I'm going to create a bow for each by taking some of the Dollar Tree ribbon folding one piece until I have a loop on either side and then scrunching it together with a longer piece for my tails. I'm tying it tightly in the middle with a piece of twine but you could also use a zip tie or a pipe cleaner if you like. Once you get that done you can trim off any excess, fluff your bow out, and I like to dovetail the tails of my ribbon by folding the tail over and cutting a triangle upward. Then you can just attach your bow to the stem 
on top of your project. Now for the bottom of the apple and the pumpkin, I'm going to fill with some decorative shred from Dollar Tree and I'm going to add a goodie to each one. I added some pumpkin bread to the pumpkin one and some streusel, cinnamon streusel to the apple one. I couldn't find like an apple bread or that would have been perfect. Also adding this apple pie and also this pumpkin pie recipe sign from Dollar Tree last year. And then I am also adding some dishcloths from Dollar Tree and an oven mitt from Dollar Tree just to make this the perfect little gift. Of course, once you spray paint these bowls, they are no longer food safe. Just throwing that out there. And if you use the large sign on the inside like I did, your lid won't fit perfectly on there. It'll kind of just fit a little bit wonky like mine. But if you want it to fit perfectly, you can just remove that sign, place the items a little more flat, and then the lid will fit on there. So that's just a couple of little tips. But I just think that this is such a cute idea. And like I said, you could also do a snowman head or an ornament for Christmas time and this is just so inexpensive and so decorative the apple would be perfect for a teacher gift as well and just fill it with whatever kind of goodies that your particular teacher likes or that you think that she will like so that is it for me today. I truly hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you check out the playlist and also my friends' channels. Stay safe, friends. Take care, and I will see you very soon. You can subscribe to my mom's channel. And thank you for watching today's craft, and stay safe.